what is going on cow folks welcome back to the channel it seems like we are uh dressed as guarma arthur today we're gonna have some guarma rum why not don't mind the floating talisman there on my side i'm still trying to figure out how to fix that uh and once again uh, i might do a an outfit tutorial a little save wizard save editor uh outfit tutorial but that's not what this video is about today guys first of all welcome back to the channel Today we are going to, now even though I already have it on this save, but I wanted to demonstrate anyway how to get the Missouri Foxtrotter early in, we are still in chapter 2 here, okay, see, horse you overlook, we're still here, I still haven't read that stupid letter by Mary, which is going to force me into the Thomas Downs mission, but that's a whole other video, so we'll get into that later. Basically, what we're going to do is, we're going to use a little bit of the track method along with the, uh, leave your horse in the proper position and just run like hell towards because the the horses are going to end up going over this hill they're pretty much going to be at the crest of it just going over it by the time i get my horse so i gotta be like johnny on the spot right now but first thing we want to do is leave your horse you're just going to lead him here okay Wait. you want him right over here because as soon as you get done with uh, Mr. Mason there, you're going to skip the cutscene real fast. And I'll demonstrate that for you guys. And you're going to want to get on your horse, like, right now. And start going. So you're going to want to keep him as close as possible. We're going to stop leading him right here. Just before we get kind of sucked into that mission there. And we're going to kind of focus on our horse here and have him stay. Okay. Stay. That's pretty good. I want him a little bit closer, but like I said, if you get too close, you know, the mission tries to suck you in and all that stuff. But the horse should be good, and we're just going to take uh, Mr. Mason's horse over here uh, to go round up the, the horses. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. Alright, let's uh, let's get into this here. So, you're still alive. Uh, Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? That might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So check and make sure a horse in the Actually, you know what, guys? I would like my horse to be a little bit closer. So I guess what you can do is wait for the mission to start. Come on. Leave your horse just kind of close by. You're going to want him to be as close to Mr. Mason as possible. Like I said, you're going to want to get on this bad boy and be gone. I'm even going to face him towards the hill over here, okay? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk a little bit away from him, focus on him, tell him to stay. That's perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go get on Mr. Mason's horse. I guess you can do it that way because, like I said, when you first get here, it just tries to suck you into that stupid mission and... Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason. Oh, wait a minute. I want to do important potent horse medicine. And stamina. Yep. There you go, horse. Have some freaking hay. Apparently, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mason isn't feeding you very well. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, like I said, once we get close to the horses, we're going to try to basically track them, okay? Mainly the, the Missouri Fox Stars that when you want to focus on. You just got to kind of keep it as you're going up. It's kind of touchy, and this may take you a couple of tries. I always make a game save before you start, which I did, okay? And as you get kind of close, you start tracking them. As you keep going, you want to kind of keep the, the, the line that's going to be highlighted for the Missouri Fox Trotter. You're going to want to keep that going. Okay. Keep moving. 
You see the line for the fox rider right there. Get up. Go on there, and it looks like it's on the fox rider, so that's good. You're just gonna wanna keep uh head him towards Mr. Mason there. Keep him going. Yeah, we got the line on the fox rider, that's the one we want. You're just gonna wanna keep refilling that bar. Don't let it run out, you know what I mean? You no need to really rush here or anything like that. They said the lion's gonna be on the fox fire there. It's it's following it. Just want to keep that line going. So as you can see, it's still on the Fox Trotter here, which obviously that's the one we want. There's a Fox Trotter. Okay, once we get over to this, uh. Look pretty doing. Move it up. Yeah, keep that, uh, keep that going. Keep that line going there. Okay, now you're just gonna want to make a beeline for uh, Mr. Mason here. Hurry up, get off. Keep that going. Hit that tracking thing one more time. Skip the cutscene as quick as you can. And then, like I said, you want to be on your horse like right now. You gotta, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Keep activating the eagle eye. And hope like hell you pick back up on the trail of the horses. I said they could go any which way. Uh, you just don't know. These are all deer right here, obviously. The horses are already towards the woods here. And that might have been too late. I said it's, it's real touchy, man. Horses always go straight this way, though. Just to the left of the train tracks into the woods over here. Managed to uh, keep up with the fox trotter here. Now's where the fun begins. Because obviously the game does not want you to have this horse, so this horse is going to do, trust me when I tell you, everything it can to avoid you. Uh, just like when you start on an NPC or whatever and it's running away from you, it's basically the same thing here, but just a horse. But half the battle is just keeping up with it. Now you have to mount it and then uh, break it just like any other horse. But it's not easy. I said this horse is fast and he loves to avoid. Uh, it's taking me like the better part of a half an hour to get this damn horse. Before it's really not fun. Anybody that tells you it's super easy is lying to you. So I got a level four uh, bonded thoroughbred here, and I'm having trouble keeping up with the damn fox starter. But you gotta be careful because he likes to dart right or left. You don't want him, uh, you know, running into your horse, and then you gotta, you gotta try to ca play catch up to him. It's not fun. Yeah, I almost got him there, and you got these idiots in the freaking way. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just fast forward until uh, you know me getting on the horse. I'm not gonna make you guys sit there watch all this. You get the point. You gotta catch the horse and jump on. You guys get the point.
finally, I mean freaking finally successfully got on the Fox Trotter. We've literally been chasing this horse for probably the last 25, 30 minutes, guys. That's what I said. Anybody tell you this is easy or fun is an absolute moron. And I was just about to say what you want to do before you take it back to the stables is bond with it. A level one. That way, in case you do fall off or whatever, you can whistle, it'll follow you. And believe me, that's happened to me before. Okay. So, what you're going to want to do is, obviously, whistle to keep your other horse with you. Make your way to the nearest stable. Do not, I repeat, do not get off this horse for any reason whatsoever. Because you will not be able to get back on. Like I said, you're not supposed to have it. The game basically knows that, so... It's going to do whatever it can to uh, prevent you from getting this freaking horse. Trust me. Careful through the trees here. All that. One one low branch will knock Arthur right on his ass. And then, like I said, this is not fun. So do not get off this horse for any reason whatsoever. But what you're going to do, guys, you're going to go in there and you're going to stable him. Okay, you're going to stable this horse. Don't put the saddle on or that crap because it, it'll just, it's just like a... It's like a GTA when a player leaves a session, their, their car bricks, you can't get in it. That's kind of what this does, with a, well, only with a horse, not a car. <laughs> okay. But it's the same type of format, because obviously this is a Rockstar game as well, so they use a lot of the same things from GTA they put in this game, just in a different, you know, in a different way. But anyway, so yeah, we're going to go up here to the stable. See, look at that. I didn't even see that freaking cliff until it's right there. The game's already trying to freaking sabotage me, guys. I mean, I went... First of all, you're not catching this horse on a straightaway. It's not going to happen. I got a full uh, level 4 reverse dapple black thoroughbred right there, which is damn near just as fast as this Fox Rider. And this thing was just in fucking turbo overdrive. I tell you, this thing, you cannot catch it. And when I did get up next to it, it wanted to dart right into me, so we both ran to each other, fell off. I had to wait for my horse to get up, hopefully not freaking die, and then chase him, and then you gotta get you gotta get him going through the trees, guys, which is obviously dangerous because you can fall off your horse, and it's not freaking fun in any way, shape, or form. Getting this horse is a nightmare. You guys are much better off trying that the face rock or moonstone bond method, and hopefully shoot the lady there and... and Hopefully the, the horse will spawn alive, but that could take a while too. But anyway, okay. So we got to the stable here. Obviously, other horses right here. I said I already got a fox trotter. So uh, this is probably where I'm going to stop. But which? But what you guys want to do? I don't know what this guy is bitching about. As you guys can see, I have a fox trotter right over there. Along with uh, that Shire, which, by the way, that that horse that Jose gives you, don't don't sleep in that horse. That Shire, he's not fast, but he's he's brave and he's a big he's a big badass horse. There's the Duke over there, and uh, Secretariat is Secretariat over there chilling. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stalls in this one. But anyway, um, I, I'm probably I'm not gonna I don't need to keep her. I was gonna tell you guys I have the male version over there because you know I got it through you know save save editor and all that stuff but normally with the face rock method or any of that or this method you only can get a female as you can see so you cannot get a, a male uh even in the epilogue as john when you buy it, it's still a female so you cannot get a male only in red dead online normally so because you can just choose the gender of the horse online right obviously but what you guys want to do is i mean i guess i could stable it i don't want to overwrite any of my other horses i guess i can have a male and a female fox <laughs> trotter right there's room. I got two spots right here. Okay. Uh, oh, watch me too. Stable is full. Make room for stable. Well, I'm not getting rid of any of these. I don't think so. Okay. So what? Anyway, what you would normally do is you stable it, and then you're gonna go outside. Okay. You're gonna go outside. You're gonna make a game save. Okay. You're gonna make a game save, and that's it, guys. Then you just reload your save. Come back in here, throw a saddle on her, and you are good to go. You guys got it, man. Uh, that's all there is to it. Like I said, I'm sorry I can't showcase that because you guys can see I already have a Fox Trotter. Uh, and a Shire, and uh, a, 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 a Dark Bay Turkmon, excuse me, and uh, Reverse Devil Black uh, Thoroughbred, which normally you can only get that. I think the special. I can't remember if it's a special or the pre order edition, was the only way you can get that horse over there, that particular look. Uh, that particular coat and all that good stuff, but like I said, when you're using uh, 
Uh, save editor is kind of like a mod menu, but not really. It's not like having a full-blown trainer, but there's things you can do. You know, I mean, look at my money and stuff like that. But uh, we can teach you guys that later if you're so interested. Uh, hit me up in the comments, and I, I can you know, make several uh, save editor tutorials if you guys want. But anyway, man, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna uh, we're gonna back out of here because, uh, like I said, we're not gonna save this horse. I, I already got one. I would if there's extra spots, but I'm not gonna overwrite some one, you know, my already, you know, level four horses and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share out, man. Appreciate you, cowboys and cowgirls, for being here. Um, we will see you in the next one. This is how to get the Missouri Fox Rider early in Chapter Two as um, as Arthur, not only as Arthur, but yeah, it's you know, Chapter Two, very very early in the game. Uh, using the Albert Mason method. Um, yeah, man. See you guys later. And stay safe out there, God, folks. This is uh, Guarma Arthur. <laughs> See you later, man. Later, guys.